There it is. Ow. Don't care. Don't care. Not interested. Oh. The way the elevator leads across to both sides. Could this actually be the way to get to that falling bookshelf? Oh, you know what? I don't care about that either. I just want to ascend the crystal tower. Lectern. So. Let us find the place where the Duke once terrorized humanity. At least this one specific human. Or ex-human. Aha! Freaking aha! That is a treasure chest. Large magic ember. Cool. Anything interesting about it? Oh, Rickett is obviously the person who used it. I guess I'll give it to him at some point. Wow. So if this was... I was going to say this was C's throne room at some point, but no, it was another library. Completely ruined now. And he's only got himself to blame. Anyway, he's dead. That's one less eternal dragon in the world, although this one was less eternal than others. Shall we call him a simp eternal dragon? Hmm. I guess there's only so much of interest to be found here. The wall things that Seath put up to prevent me from approaching him are gone entirely. I guess a lot of the place was just constructed of and maintained by his crystal magic. Really, it's just a ruined library. What a shame, except not really. Okay, y'all, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that statue that just appeared. Nice. Okay, now I'm out of here. One more soul for the flame. Burns brighter. Duke's archives. That's a new warp. wasn't on my list before. Next up, the catacombs. Or are they? I believe that... Oh, hello. It's Zeglind? Oh, hi then. You both might have been quite well, aren't you? Yes, I have. <laughs> no, it's fine. He's cool. Ah, like he's really cool, actually. Probably my favourite character. Oh, good luck. I hope she finds him. Should I go and look for them? Anyway, as I was saying, the catacombs. Seem to be my next destination. How's it going, oh, Lurch? Oh, as always. Yes, please. Let's have hella pyromancy. Plus 15. Come back. Doesn't get a lot better than that. 
I wonder if Quilana can do any better. Let's go find out. But while I'm doing that... The Catacombs are one possible next destination, but I think there is another. I found this broken pendant, uh, which talked about Ulaseel. It's the same place that Dusk of Ulaseel is from. Not surprising, considering her name. I'm pretty sure that's the additional content. DLC, except uh, it wasn't any more downloadable than the rest of the game in this case, since I bought it on a PC and downloaded the whole thing from Steam. But this was like extra downloadable, if you were on a console, which I'm not. So, the question is, uh, first of all, am I going to do the DLC at all? Is this just a Dark Souls playthrough? Or do you guys, you hypothetical viewers, um, want me to see do the whole thing? Because I probably could. But of course it would take a whole bunch more time and effort and stuff, and for all I know it's largely unnecessary or even bad. Or great. So I'm definitely soliciting opinions on that. Uh, secondly, I don't know whether I'll just stumble across the DLC, whether it's inserted into the game. Uh, the only indication of it that I've seen are those golden crystal golems, although one of them has Siglinda inside them. Maybe she's DLC, I don't know. The point is, I don't know whether I should be going and talking to Dusk of Ulysseal. Maybe I should, maybe if I don't I'll miss something. Opinions would be welcomed. Poison cures, also welcome. Off if I go far enough away. I really can't be bothered fighting him. Every time I come to Blight Down, Blight Town is just a procession of irritations. You can't just go to Blight Town. One does not simply, etc., etc., etc. Has he de aggroed? Yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, Galana. I was expect Oh. Wait, so she can restore to a normal pyrophancy flame. Well that doesn't sound great. Well, I do need to learn great fireball. And I've already got no, I don't already have Firestorm. So, incinerates all nearby life. That's probably the non chaos version of my other thing. Thank you. I suppose I can. Now go. Don't you dip this light? Alright. Have I got enough souls on me to get any more teaching? Probably not. Just the fire keeper soul. Yes. Although. I don't want to walk past the giants again, I'm just going to use the other bonfire and walk. Chaos actually. I don't have any humanity draw for her right now, I don't want to visit her frivolously. So. Let's get Estus improvements from the original, and uh, judging by the strength of this bonfire, the best. Anastasia. Anastasia, the once tongueless, the unwilling to speak. Of course, to find out what plus four means, I'm going to have to take some damage and then heal it up again. Shall we? 
let's get taking. Uh, wrong way. Let's get damage taking. King Seeker just hanging out there. Oh. Ever since the water drained here, I find it slightly difficult to find my way around that thing. You can each have one free hit. Wow. <laughs> They're not quite as dangerous as they once were. <laughs> How cute. Okay. Let's try out the Estus Flask. Pretty good, but it could be better. I don't think that's even... I'm not even wearing particularly heavy armor here, it's just well enchanted. I could actually uh, take less damage than that. This ring of steel protection. Let's see how this goes. Let's fight another skeleton pair. Well... He can barely even beat up, build up enough bleed to actually give me blood loss on his own. Jeez. Let's hear it for the growing power of Tarquin Dark Souls. I certainly think I'm ready for the catacombs. Are the catacombs ready for me?